I'm Joseph Alpert, the Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here to call your attention to a very interesting article in this month's American Journal of Medicine. This article uh, comes from the Harvard School of Public Health and from the Brigham. Um, and as you know, they've been doing a lot of long-term studies on preventing uh, cardiovascular disease with a number of interventions. This uh, is, was a sub-study of one of their larger trials that was looking at the cardiovascular risks and actually looked at migraine headaches. It's been suggested in the past that the, uh, uh, the marine uh, fats, uh, you know, the N3 fats that everybody knows actually are associated with decreased incidence of, of heart attack and stroke, um, that they might be helpful in uh, dealing with migraine headache. And then other people have suggested, well, vitamin D supplementation might decrease uh, uh, migraine headaches. Well, uh, this very carefully done analysis showed no, uh, neither one of those interventions decreased decreased migraine headaches. So uh, while the, the marine oils do seem to help um, with uh, patients uh, who are at risk for coronary disease, vitamin D has also not been shown to be helpful at preventing atherosclerotic uh, heart disease. And now, unfortunately, wasn't any help in, in preventing migraine headaches either. Um, so that's uh, uh, one that's worth remembering. Um, it, Often your patients are going to say, oh, I heard that vitamin D helps with migraines, or I hear that, uh, that uh, taking the fish oil caps will help with my migraines. At least good hard scientific data said wasn't much help. It's a pleasure uh, to have you reading the American Journal of Medicine. Please follow us on our website or our social media.